Now, I would like to invite our chief guest, Mr. Kojiro Uchiyama, Council General of Japan in Chennai, to say a few words. So, Jikimashite, Zai Chennai Nihon Koku, Souryuji Uchiyama Kojiro Samayori, Okotoba wo itadakimasu. Uchiyama Sama, Yorishiko Negaite Shimasu. Vice Chancellor Kumar of EFLU, the Muzaffar Alam, School of Arab and Asian Languages, and Mr. Kaoru Miyamoto, Director, Japan Foundation, New Delhi, and Professor Bedeker, Coordinator, and Professor Xian, Director of Conference. Ladies and gentlemen, good morning, and minasan, ohayou gozaimasu. It is my uh, great pleasure to be here this morning to participate in the inauguration of the International Conference on Japanese Language Education in South Asia, organized by the Department of Asian Languages, EFLU, in collaboration with the Japan Foundation. On this, my second visit to EFLU as the Consul General of Japan in Chennai, I am delighted to see Vice Chancellor Kumar again and meet all the participants of this conference from various South Asian countries. Just looking around, I see some familiar faces from New Delhi, whom I got to know when I was stationed in that, that city some 10 years ago. Little did I expect our past to cross again in this part of India, so I'm very glad to see them all. And I wish to express my appreciation to the Department of Asian Languages and the Japan Foundation for organizing this conference, which I understand to be the very first of its kind to be held by EFLU. The EFLU venue suits this conference well, as it is a hub of Japanese language education in South India, with 100 students currently studying Japanese language. The Japan Foundation survey shows that as of 2015, there are 24,000 Indian students, uh, Indians studying Japanese. And I understand that a new survey result will be released soon. And as Mr. Miyamoto just indicated earlier, the figure is expected to be larger, reflecting the recent increasing interest in learning Japanese in India. In 2005, when then Prime Minister Koizumi visited India, both governments agreed to promote Japanese language studies in India with a target of 30,000 learners within five years. Considering the fact that the number of Indians studying Japanese in 2005 was just about 11,000, it might have been a little ambitious goal, but Finally, we are getting closer to that number. In South India, there are 7,000 Japanese language learners, and the number of applicants for the Japanese language proficiency tests are on the increase. Certainly, the growing interest in learning Japanese language relates to the increasing number of Japanese companies operating in India. The number of Japanese companies here in, uh, increases every year and is now more than three times that of 10 years ago. An increasing number of Japanese companies means increasing job opportunities for Indian workers. These Japanese companies require Indians who can speak Japanese and can act as bridges between the Indian subsidiaries and headquarters in Japan. Thus, follows a growing need for qualified Japanese language teachers who can teach Japanese language at higher education institutions. Currently, the number of Japanese language teachers remains too small vis-a-vis -vis the number of potential learners. Also noted is a growing interest among engineering colleges in, partic in particular to teach Japanese language. Against this background, in 2017, the Prime Ministers of Japan and India agreed to establish Japanese language certificate courses at 100 higher education institutions in, in India 
as well as to train 1,000 Japanese language teachers over the next five years. In July 2018, the Japanese Language Teachers Training Center was established in JNU. Yeah, we appreciate JNU's providing the venue for the center. And the first batch of 25 participants successfully finished a three-month course in October last year. The course for the second batch of 18 participants is currently underway. I hope these uh, participants will become excellent Japanese language teachers and serve as bridges of friendship between Japan and India. The Embassy of Japan in New Delhi and the consulate offices in Kolkata, Chennai, Mumbai, and Bengaluru are making concerted efforts to expand employment opportunities for Japanese language teachers in cooperation with relevant government and private organizations. This conference has participants from, such, uh, from countries such as India, Japan, Sri Lanka, Pakistan, Nepal, Bangladesh, the Maldives, and during the next two days, you will share your experiences as Japanese language teachers and exchange views on the situations surrounding Japanese language education in each participating country. I hope you will find this conference of use and mutually beneficial by learning from each other's experiences with a view to providing better quality Japanese language education back in your home country. So I thank the Japan Foundation and EFLU again for organizing this international conference. And I wish each and every one of you a very successful conference. Thank you very much.